that's a big part of the Resistance 3 universe is exotic weapons, and in particular, Chimera and technology, and, and uh, nothing's more fun than blowing stuff up with really big explosive weapons. Some of the weapons, I would say, we, we pushed a little bit farther. Again, like uh, that, that sort of mantra of, you know, this can only happen in Resistance. I think we've got a really unique, unique mythos in, in our game. The Mutator is a good example where they've taken Chimera and technology, humans have, and have, have crafted a weapon out of it. I think this weapon in particular was pushed a lot by animation. Uh, that we have an animator on the team, just went, went with it. One of our animators here, uh, Steve Ryder, sent out this animatic of human basically coughing up all of this stuff and having it grow out of him and just kind of collapsing to the ground. The, the primary fire sort of makes them sick and they start getting these boils, they start kind of steaming explode from the inside with these kind of gross pustules and fall to the ground. Get a, a fully upgraded mutator and throw it out there, it can get, uh, you can get some pretty, pretty crazy scenarios going on just watching all these guys running and the other guys blowing up and transforming them and they go running somewhere else, you can get some pretty awesome chain reaction. The Deadeye is a Chimera sniper rifle. Primary fire, it's just it's a sniper shot. It's, it's deadly, you want to get the headshot. The uh, secondary fire, you pull the trigger and you've got this sort of wind up that lasts about a second and a half and the, the, this reticle kind of collapses and shoots out this uh, extremely powerful shot. Sniper uh, weapons are an interesting gun to talk about upgrades because it's already such a powerful thing. We added a, an extra magnification level to the sniper rifle. It's, it's silenced so you can shoot it without uh, waking guys up instantly. Whenever you go into scope view, we actually you have a little effect around guys' heads to help you help you target and get the headshot. The atomizer is the gun that the that the Ravager uses in Resistance 3. You pick it up and it's it's actually one of the, I think it's the only gun that you you can't scope in. It's sort of held down like a, a, a mini gun or mini turret or something like that. It shoots out an electrical current. It's got maybe a, a 10 to 12 meter range. And anytime something pretty close to you, it'll just auto-target them and zap them and, and actually disintegrates them whenever you kill them. The secondary fire shoots out this gravity well turret, shoots out these sort of lightning bolts, and it actually sucks the enemies into it. It drags them in, picks them up, and they sort of go spinning around. They get a bunch of body parts and a, and a rag doll or two moving around. It looks pretty awesome. My personal favorites, I, I have a lot of them. I really like the bullseye, I always have. Uh, I like the way that it feels right now, and it's always a good weapon of choice for uh, taking out certain types of enemies. We've got these Chimera and alien weapons, and one of the things we want to do is sort of give them a flavor, unlike anything that, that human weapons could have. When you pull up the bullseye, you have this sort of weird, sort of floating holographic uh, iron sight. I think it's one of the first changes people are going to notice. You have a, a weapon that's kind of this small SMG style gun. It kind of has a, sp a big spread. It has this alt fire where you can tag guys and all of the primary fire will go to that tag. It makes it extremely effective against very fast moving characters. The bullseye tag, uh, the, the trail in, in particular, a lot of times in Resistance 1 and 2, people had a hard time figuring out sort of where their tags were going to go. Made some changes so that whenever you do tag one, it actually draws this sort of tether line so you can see exactly who you are connected to and you know when you're connected and not connected. And It's been a mainstay in the Resistance universe all across the, the, the board because it's just such an effective weapon.